Chilcon is in the rearview mirror and what a fantastic day it was. We attended as the bunker and we had a phenomenal time. Not only meeting lots of people out there who want to play games, but catching up with some of our great friends. And I bumped into one of my friends who was selling some really cool little Hectors. Let's have a look. Right, tidy up and then crack on. Right, I build you first. Let's have a look what we get in the boxes then. So faux figures have done the designs and they're all 3D printed. They're really, really nice, really full of character and a, a real sort of fun addition to any miniature collection. Um, I've got a rogue, a warrior and a wizard. And I, I have to say, I think the wizard is my favorite, but there we go. Not a lot of cleaning up work needed, bit of flash on them. But, you know, 3D prints are nice and neat, and Dave's obviously done a job of sort of cleaning them as he goes. So, yeah, not a lot of prep work. It was time to fasten them onto the bases, which I've uh, I bunged them all on the same size base, slightly bigger than the ones that came with them, mainly because I wanted to add things like a huge tactical rock for uh, Hero Hector with his sword in the air to stand on. I'm going to add some acrylic paste to pre sort of texture the bases and then give them an undercoat which is exactly what you see before me and it's only one paint for this job it's two thin coats by Duncan Rose. So Hector because he's and I'm sorry to say this guy's made of cloth um, he's actually got <laughs> a sort of a washed out green appearance to him so I've mixed a couple of paints together to get the, uh, the get the skin tones flowing and uh, I'm going to do the same tone on all of them. Um, it's okay, he is he is real, honestly. Um, so legs, everything, you know, make sure we, he is a frog at the end of the day. Um, his signature blue top, and that's going on all of them in some degree as well. And um, I just enjoyed picking out the sort of vibrant bright colour palette which I'm going for. I think this is pure fun and I'm going to paint them that way. Um, I love the hearts on them and I, I just love the whole sort of aesthetic here. Um, every good rogue worth his salt has a bright red cloak on, we know that. And every wizard has a purple hat so there we go and i just just went to town on sort of undercoating and getting the base coats down and there we go um, nice and bright nice and crazy and it's wash time i'm um, going in with sepias and blacks and i'm just giving them a gentle wash across the entire miniature to tie everything together before a dry overnight so now that the hectares are all dry it's time to go back with the tooth and coat sort of technique which is your next stage of highlight so you go like back to your medium coat then you highlight over all the colors now i'm keeping hector deliberately bright and playful and happy because that's what well that's what i think he is and i just went back through and highlighted everything up and it it was really good fun this was so therapeutic so relaxing i really enjoyed myself every step of the way Even the yellows work really well. Really impressed with these paints. I always have been, I think I always will be. Um, so the yellow came out really well, just nice sort of touching it up. And you've got to have a bright yellow cloak on, haven't you, if you're a wizard. Here we go, we're touching up even more. Metallics there, giving it a, a silver highlight just to make the gold pop. Proper heroes have full gold plate armor on. And then the skin. We're just gonna go back through and just sort of like, have a, a lightened, green tone over the top and all that's left is to finish him off with a few tufts to go along the way and there we go interesting um i really really enjoyed painting these i guess all there is left to do is to put up a hector medley 